Welcome back to Doesn't Pay Full Price. I'm Jim, and I wasn't planning on making a video today, but you know, sometimes in life, you get a special delivery that's just too tempting to pass up. This just appeared on my doorstep. Ugh. All I know is that it's fresh seafood, it's perishable. I have no idea what's actually inside. So I figured what would make a better intro than if we open it up together, see what's inside, and come up with a recipe on the spot. So don't go anywhere, I have a feeling this is gonna be a good one. Like some bits and some lobster picks. Okay, enough. Of this. Let's get to the good stuff. Ooh, I got some ice packs. Holy hell. One, two. What the hell? One, two, three, four, five. There's gotta be six lobsters in here. This is absolutely insane. Say hi, little guy. Hello. Hello. All right, I told you it's gonna be a good one. I have no plan for these. I did not know these were showing up. So I'm gonna have to figure out recipes to cook all of these lobsters. I need all the help that I can on this. So if you could do me a favor and just uh, smash that like button to help me out, help the channel out, I will see you in the kitchen. All right, first step in dealing with live lobster is making it not live lobster. A couple ways we can do this. First off, take your trusty chef's knife, place the tip of the blade right behind the eyes, and uh, uh, if you feel up to it, push down and then chop forward, bifurcating the head, making it not live lobster. If you're not so keen on that, you can throw your lobsters on a sheet pan and put them in the freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes. This will numb them completely and make them a little easier to work with. We're gonna need a pot that's big enough to hold your lobsters and no, we are not boiling them. Name one good boiled meat. Exactly. Lobster is no different. We are gonna steam them today. So you are gonna need something to keep the lobsters off of the bottom of the pan. So I like to use a smaller pan that fits right inside. We're only gonna fill this with about an inch of water and put it over high heat. So you've got a good amount of steam, it's time to get the lobsters in, and you wanna do this as quick as possible. So open it up. Shut the lid, count to 10, and they're already gone. But it's okay, just think of the good times. If you wanna steam your lobsters and just eat them with drawn butter, you can cook them for about 15 to 20 minutes depending on the size, but that's not what we're gonna do today. Set your timer for two minutes and then take these out and put them right into an ice bath. We're gonna start by removing the claws. Right where the knuckle connects to the body, just give it a nice little twist. Claws come right off. Then we're gonna split this bad boy in half, just leaving the tip of the tail connected. There'll be some sinister cracks, don't mind those. Next, remove the legs, just give them a twist. Open up your lobster and remove all the stuff on the inside. We're gonna be stuffing this, so Take out that tamale. Some people save it. I personally don't. For the stuffing, we're going to start by sauteing half an onion in two tablespoons of butter. Then add two green onions, your lobster leg meat, the zest of one lemon, and then you know those buttery Ritz crackers? Yeah, crumble up about a sleeve of those. You want it to be a little bit finer than what I did here. You're asking yourself, how do I get all that leg meat out, right? Well, get yourself a nice rolling pin. Start at one end, and just like toothpaste, all that meat comes right out. The shell around these claws is pretty thick, so we're gonna to wanna to give them a five minute head start in a 450 degree oven. During that time, we can spoon our stuffing all over the lobster, in all the crevices, covering the tail, add it to the sheet pan five minutes later, and then throw it back in the 450 degree oven for about 14 to 16 minutes, till it's nice and golden brown. Plate it up with a little John butter, and you have New England baked stuffed lobster. One lobster down, five more to go, and this screams New England comfort food to me. You know it's gonna be a good day if you're eating baked stuffed lobster. If you're still with me, this next recipe is gonna be a little different. So start by splitting your lobster tail into six even chunks, shell and everything. Then with the claws, we're gonna remove the knuckles, split the knuckles right in half, right down the middle. And then the claws, we're gonna separate right where the two pinchers meet. Make sure to get any extra shell out of there and you have your whole lobster broken down. Then we're gonna fill a medium saucepan halfway up the sides with oil and put it over medium high heat. Meanwhile, we are gonna dust all of our lobster pieces in cornstarch, making sure to brush off any excess, that way it doesn't burn. And this next part moves pretty quickly. So we've got our lobster, our hot oil, and our draining rig. And just a couple pieces at a time, I like to do two to three at a time. Drop your lobster into the oil, let it fry for about two minutes until it's nice and crispy and golden brown and then remove it to your draining rig until you have an entire pan of crispy, delicious lobster. We need a good sauce to finish this off with, so we're gonna combine soy sauce, Shaoxing wine, a little bit of sesame oil, 
and then dilute some cornstarch in chicken broth. Add that. Add the rest of the chicken broth along with a little bit of sugar. Don't forget all these recipes will be in the description below. Mix that all together. Then in your widest saucepan or wok over high heat, we're going to combine sliced ginger, saute that till it's nice and fragrant. Then we add sliced leeks. All of our lobster goes in. Give it a couple flips for good measure and just to show off the flex. Cover that with a lid. Let that cook for about two to three minutes so all the flavors bake in. After two minutes, take off your lid. Give it one more toss just because you can. And we finish off with our sauce. I like to let this simmer for about another minute or so just so it thickens up. And you just made Cantonese style ginger leek lobster. I like to serve it over white rice. Don't forget to add the head for dramatic effect. And there you go. There you have it, not one, but two great ways to make live lobster at home. I'm Jim with Doesn't Pay Full Price. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Now someone has to eat all this lobster. I will see you next time. Cheers.